What's up, Tank Nuts? Lori here again. It is Sunday, Easter weekend, and instead of doing normal holiday things, um, Peter and I have decided to pick up another project for a weekend project. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we had the bright idea. Um, we've been walking past this for, I don't know, how long we've been in this workshop and yeah it's always looked sad sitting in the corner not really being looked after so we had the bright idea of pulling it out cleaning it up and hopefully getting it running for the owners here um it's got a bit of history um both with this tread and the local community so it's worth having a look at and seeing what we can do so let me introduce you to our new project, weekend project. It's not actually going to take precedent over all that. Um, we're just doing this because it's something nice and different and uh, really not a lot else to do this weekend. So I thought may as well do it. And you know, we don't have to push ourselves. We can sort of doodle along with this one, um, but yeah. Apologies in advance. I'm gonna oh, I just fill in. I'm gonna keep calling this a steam roller, even though it is not a steam roller. It's a roller, but it's petrol driven. So yeah. Um, what did we do? We pulled it out from behind that chipping container um, all the way down here and pressure washed it. So the pressure washing I will show right now. So, pressure washing done, um, here it is, now dry, I'm going to do a quick little walk around and tell you what we're about to do with it today, let's go. Okay, here is our wonderful steamroller, looking fabulous, um, obviously it's had some uh, damage in the past, uh, but it is still in its lovely green and gold which is very Australian of it which coincidentally it is Australian built um, the Australian Armstrong Holland and Sydney there we go so yeah Australian built which is very rare um, especially in this day and age because basically nothing is made in Australia anymore the engine is American but everything else Australian built uh, Peter was doing a little bit of Googling and found out it was probably made around 1944 Around about that time, which is really good. So this has been in this building for years and unfortunately it was just sort of parked away and um, left to be forgotten sadly, um, but the uh, family business that owns this area um, Yeah, they're quite happy that we've decided to pull it out and give it a little bit of a spruce up. Um, bit of history with these is that during the Second World War, for those who don't know, here in far north Queensland, which out here, lovely, beautiful, sunny day, there's an airport uh, just over there, um, that a lot of it was actually made by the Americans in the Second World War. And there's pictures of these 
um, being used to help make the uh, runways, which is really cool. Um, there's even a plaque around here. I'm going to have to find it. There was a plaque outside. Um, there was a boat for World War II made here out of wood. So yeah, there's a bit of wartime history in, um, in this part of the world. Not a lot, but enough. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> it's really rudimentary. It's got chain steel, so you turn that wheel there and it turns this and it turns these, which pull the chains left and right. And that's how you, man, that's how you steer it, which is really cool. Um, clutch, brake, um, and a gear level. So it's a four cylinder petrol international engine. So the, the engine is American built, but everything else seems to be Australian, which is really cool. Uh, it's got a decompression lever, which is behind it here. And the reason for that is because it is magneto driven and hand crank. So there's no starter motor on this. You are supposed to hand crank it. Unfortunately for us, the engine is completely seized. We've already put it into gear and we've tried to toe start it and the engine will not turn at all. This thing is rock solid. Um, the spark plugs have been left open um, as has the exhaust on the other side. So this is entirely frozen up, sadly. So we're gonna pull the whole engine out, which is um, really quite easy. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Cut all of these off, um, the belts, and we're pretty sure this is ready to come out. So we're gonna do that now. Um, yeah, and we'll see what, what happens. Parts for these should be fairly readily available. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna pull it apart and have a look-see. At the very least, we're gonna have a wonderful ornament to, ah, the sun's behind it. We're gonna have a wonderful ornament to put on display, which will be really quite nice. Um, the green and gold really pops. And it's nice that it's those colors because green and gold is normally associated with us Australians in sporting um, fields. So yeah, we will pull the engine out and hopefully I'll get back to you guys very shortly. We've taken the top off, and this one wasn't even connected. These appear to be moving. We've just bonked them a little bit with the hammer, but that one's, someone's <laughs> clearly taken it off and didn't either didn't know how to put it back or just neglected to do so. Very peculiar. Okay, we have taken the uh, head off. <laughs> and the story doesn't get any better. <laughs> we love pulling apart these old engines. You never know quite what you're going to find. Peter's going to try to get it down. No, <laughs> not, a not at all. No, it's never coming apart. <laughs> oh well, that that was an easy uh, decision to make. So yeah, we'll uh, guess we're just gonna hunt down another engine and uh, yeah, do that. My prognosis is someone has pulled this apart because all the head bolts were loose. Um, didn't know anything about what they were doing, or they got to this conclusion you know some 50 odd years ago or whatever and yeah it's been left to die but no, this this engine is not worth bringing back to life we'll just get a new one instead new old stock one 
Okay, well, we have pulled the engine mostly apart. We've got all the numbers we need, so we're gonna go get a new engine. Um, it's gonna take time or whatever. But yeah, so that's pretty much all we can do on that end. Uh, we are going to, I'm just gonna turn around. We are going to pull the engine off, uh, the radiator and the uh, this end. Uh, we're gonna refurb this end and the radiator. Don't know what we're gonna do with the engine, I think <laughs> it's scrap, really. Um, we are on the hunt for either a petrol or a diesel one. We would like a diesel because it's just easier and let's be honest, this isn't really gonna be doing a lot of work. I might run over a few things just for the fun of it, um, but it's not going to be doing any manual labour. Um, at least I don't think so. And if it does, um, I'll be very impressed. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll fix this and get a new engine, put it all back together, clean the roller side of things, and uh, yeah, should be pretty good to go so yeah all right well leave lots of wonderful comments as always and uh, i will see you on the next one bye